Welcome to Marlin Tech Tips. Going to show you how to reassemble your Marlin 1895 lever action rifle. It's a very simple procedure. Uh, before I begin, I want to make sure that my rifle has no ammunition in it or in my work area, and I've cleared my work area. I'm going to check the chamber and my magazine to make sure that is empty. And I also want to make sure that the safety is in the safe position, not in the fire position. So I cannot see any red on there, so it's in the safe position. I also want to start with a hammer cocked. It makes it a little bit easier to reassemble this. For tools, you only need a couple tools, a good pair of safety glasses. You want a screwdriver that's going to correctly fit the screw that goes through your lever. So you want to get the correct size fitting bit. And it's helpful to have a small pair of needle nose pliers to reinstall the ejector. So we're going to begin with the ejector. Now the ejector itself is there's a spring on the back side that gives it its tension and the spring side goes in first. So where these two meet up at the back side, this goes to the rear of the rifle and this split at the front goes towards the muzzle. So it is easier to install this with a, with, with a rifle laying flat. So when you do this, have the left hand side down, that way you can access everything. Uh, for the camera, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna tip this upwards, but ideally you would have it laying flat. So you're just going to install that. There's a slot and you bring it back as far as it will go and just make sure it's nested down in there and that's correct. It's just going to sit down in there. Next up, you're going to take the bolt and the bolt, it has an extractor which is going to be to the right hand side. Obviously, it's going to line up with your ejection port. So if you line that up on the right hand side in the shooting position, it's going to be in the correct orientation. When you go to a install the bolt it tends to want to tip down so you want to lift that up slightly and again I find it easier if I hold the hammer down uh, it, it helps line that up because you don't have the tension pushing from the bottom and it's just a matter of you'll move wiggle that back and forth a little bit you'll feel that go forward and you want to bring it up so you've got about an inch or so gap before it's fully closed and that that's the correct position to install the lever so I'm going to lay the rifle back down I'm going to install the lever from the bottom up. I'm going to line up that pivot hole and I'm going to install my screw. And I'm going to unscrew this in using my screwdriver. And again, get the correct size bit. I find it a little bit easier if I lift up on the lever to install this, helps it align correctly. And you just want to get this snug. I'm not going to go crazy. I'm just going to tighten that down. Once you've done that, I want to make sure that everything's working correctly. So once again, yes, I've checked it for ammunition. I'm just going to do a double check on that. And now I'm going to cycle this. I take my safety off, put it into the fire position. I'm going to engage the safety. I'm going to let the hammer come forward. I'm going to notice that the hammer doesn't come all the way forward. It's, it's blocked by the safety, so I can see that that's working. And I can bring that back to the safety notch. So everything seems to be working correctly. You have successfully reassembled your Marlin 1895 rifle. Thanks for watching this Marlin Tech Tip.